We're going to start with the large square today. We can start with a magic ring. You loop your yarn over. I use a double magic ring technique. So I've wrapped it an extra time around my hook. Still pull that loop through. And we would chain three, which counts as our first double crochet. And then work two double crochet into the ring. Chain two, three double crochet into the ring. We'll do that two more times. Chain two, three double crochet into our starting ring. Chain two, three double crochet. And then we're going to join with a half double crochet to the top of our starting chain. This half double crochet acts as a chain two space. Then you can go ahead and tighten your ring. So you'll have four sets of three double crochet with the chain two corners, that last corner made with a half double crochet. Alternately, you can start with a chain four, slip stitch to the first chain to form a ring, work the chain three, and then work your double crochet into the ring formed by those chains. And so on. Then for round two, we want to turn our work. We will chain three, which counts as a double crochet. And in that same corner space, we will place a second double crochet. Then we will double crochet in each of the stitches across to the next corner, which for row two will be three stitches. So double crochet in each of those three stitches. And then when we reach this next corner space, we'll place two double crochet, chain two, and two more double crochet in this corner space. to form our new corner. Double crochet in each of the stitches across the side. And then ready to repeat that with the corner, double crochets and so on. So you can repeat that for the next two sides and I'll meet you just before the end of the round. So I've worked that final side I need to place two more stitches in that corner space. So two double crochet in that corner space. And then we'll make a half double crochet in the top of our starting chain three to form this last corner. And then we will turn our work for round three. So after Round two, we have seven stitches per side with the chain two corners. Rounds three through seven are worked in the same way, starting with that chain three, adding a double crochet in the corner, and then double crocheting in each stitch across. So this will be seven double crochets. six and seven double crochet ready to work our corner stitches two double crochet 
chain two and two more double crochet ready to work down this next side so you can go ahead and work that all the way around remembering to add two more double crochet in that corner space before joining with a half double crochet to close the round so you can finish up round three and continue to work four five six and seven 11 stitches per side 15 stitches per side you may find it helpful after the end of each row to just straighten pull out your corners a little bit make sure those stitches fall into place so that your square continues to lay flat 19 stitches per side Round six, 23 stitches per side. 27 stitches, and you can go ahead and fasten off. So after you've worked your first square, it's a good time to check your gauge, especially if you're working from a kit from Cascade Yarns. You want to make sure your squares are not too big or you will run out of yarn. So these large squares should be eight inches and mine fits or if you use metric be 20 centimeters for your square if you're too large you might want to consider going down a hook size so that you can meet your gauge requirement <laughs> 